hi guys I am here today with another Pinterest recipe now this recipe is going to be on Pinterest but it's actually my recipe so I'm just gonna put it on my Pinterest and I will put the link in the description box for you it's also on my blog if you would like to check it out there but we are making sausage pot pie today I know it's a little non-traditional but I promise you it's gonna be tasty so I have some sausage chopped up here and we'll go ahead and get cooking just sit back and relax and follow along with me the recipe <laughs> the recipe with the ingredients and directions will be in the description box as I stated so if you miss anything don't panic just follow along and enjoy all right here we have some chopped up onions and bell peppers here red and green bell peppers or frozen seasoning blend as I like to use because I hate to chop up vegetables but we have that with our Cajun seasoning sauteing down here and we're gonna go ahead and add the sausage in with that next all right guys um the sausage and the onions and bell peppers have been cooking for a while I'm gonna add a little onion powder and a little garlic seasoning And you don't really need to be worried about how much onion powder. I'll put that in the description box for you. But onion powder or granulated onion doesn't have salt. So it's not going to like make anything too salty. And I put about a teaspoon and a half of seasoning. Of garlic seasoning. Alright guys. Next we're going to add the peas and carrots. This is a 16 ounce bag. And they are frozen peas and carrots. And we're going to get this all mixed up and let this soften for just a little bit. All right, guys. All right, guys. I have some gravy here. I made this gravy before, so that's why it looks a little lumpy because it's frozen. But I have it kind of thawing out right here. Um, I'm going to put in the description box that you can use powdered gravy because you can. It'll be just fine. But since I already had homemade gravy, that's what I'm using. But just use like two packs of um, brown gravy and it'll be just fine. I'm going to put the sausage and the carrot and onion mixture in with the gravy. And since you last saw me, that's cooked about five minutes. So I'm going to combine both of these together now. And I have recruited Bay to help me. These pots are a little heavy. And this is what it looks like all combined. I'm gonna let this simmer about another 10 minutes and then we're gonna put the crust on. All right, guys, now that we have simmered the mixture, we're gonna go ahead and put this in our baking dish. And we're gonna top it with the crust. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the crust on. I'm just using a pre-made crust, the kind that you roll out. And you just put it on and make it fit according to your pan and the size. We're just like rolling the edges down a little bit. Because, of course, they're round and this is rectangular. So, just make it fit, guys. It's not hard. Just make it fit. And here the dish is covered. Did a little cutting, a little patching. Doesn't have to look perfect, guys. You just want the filling covered, which is why I didn't drag the video out that long showing you guys. I know you know how to roll, roll out pre-made pie crust and put it over filling. But it's about to go in the oven. The oven is set to 375. And we're going to go ahead and spray the top with some um, butter spray. Or you can use an egg wash if you want. Just egg and water, but... We're going to go ahead and use a butter vegetable spray. 
<laughs> no, a butter spray, not a vegetable spray. And in the oven it goes. And here we have the finished sausage pot pie. Looks delicious. Crust looks nice and flaky. All right, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have an awesome day. Hope you make this recipe and enjoy it. Love you guys. Bye-bye.